Hey guys, KT here, and welcome back to some more Skyrim. Last time, we actually did the Battle of Windhelm, and are now confronting Ulfric Stormcloak as we end this war. So, let's see what you we got. You of insurrection, murder of imperial citizens, the assassination of King Torik, and high treason against the Empire. It's over. Not while I'm still breathing, it's not. Step aside, Galmar. We're here to accept Ulfric's surrender. I'll never surrender Skyrim into the hands of a corrupt and dying empire. Skyrim doesn't belong to you, Ulfric. No, but I belong to her. Enough! You are traitors and will die traitors' deaths. Stand down and face public execution. Or advance and face summary execution by my hands. It matters little to me. Either way, I'll be sending your heads back to Cyrodiil. Well, what are we waiting for? For the Emperor! Oh, Stonefish went straight for me. I mean, it makes sense, but still. You had two of the main targets and you go out to the grunt. I love that. Oh, he's dead. Well, Let's I'll check your bodyguard real quick. Can't escape from me this time. Any last requests before I send you to... to wherever you people go when you die? Sovereign, sir. Right. Well? Let the Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Song or not, I just want it done. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna give him the satisfaction. Fine by me. Hello. Oh, I can just get his robes now. It's even labeled as Ulfric's clothes. I love that. <laughs> what was that, Liggett? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. And we'll need to hand the city over to that free winter fellow. Runwolf. Yes, I've sent men to protect him and bring him here. Windhelm will need a government quickly if we are to prevent more violence. The Legion will be staying here for quite some time. I don't expect there to be any further violence. Oh, and Leggett. It's been an honor to have you at my side. As a token of my appreciation, I want you to keep my sword. And now to deliver a speech. Ooh. Does Ulfric have an uh, enchant enchantment table here? I doubt he does, but if he does, it'll be nice. No, this is the kitchen. Oh, Ulfric, of course, would not have one. Windhelm Barracks. Yeah, no, I, I don't think he has one. Unless it's in one of the other rooms, which I don't want to keep going through loading screens. Ulfric Stormcloak is dead. His head will be sent to Cyrodiil, where it will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and faithful man. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the Jarl in restoring order and stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder here. In appreciation for your exemplary service, I am doubling your pay and compensation to the widows of your fallen comrades. I am proud of all of you. All hail the Emperor. All hail his legionnaires. I hate giving speeches. It wasn't so bad. I hope we haven't just created a martyr. 
There's bound to be resistance. There are many Stormcloak camps tucked away in the hills. They'll no doubt strike whenever and wherever they can. But without Ulfric to inflame their passions, they'll settle down and return to their home as much. I pray you're right. In the meantime, we'll continue to root them out and put them to the sword. We couldn't have done this without you. The Empire glories in your accomplishments. Come, Rika. There's still much to be done. Alright. Well, that is the end of that. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go back to the main quest. Even though it's going to pain me. Uh, due to the fact that, well... It's going to suck, because I don't know if I'm ready for this. But I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and try. Might as well. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm just under leveled. I'm going to be struggling like crazy. But I don't think we're going to have too much issues. Fingers crossed. That's how I'm viewing it. Fingers crossed. Is that, uh... Oh, God. Hey, y'all, though. But, yeah, no, I think what we're going to do, we're just going to progress with the main story now. Now that we have pretty much all the main side stories out of the way. Uh, cause that, those were the only ones I was really worried about. Uh, they're reforming the and, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and head in here. Uh, see if the vampire, uh, the sort of vampirism actually, uh, I, if I already have it or not, I don't think I do, cause I don't remember ever doing that, getting rid, getting rid of a sword like that, but I never know. Oh. Advar, what are you doing what here? What the rebels like to forget. Is that the Empire is what's keeping it. What's Hadvar do? Such weird that Hadvar came here of all places. Okay. Oh, I do have it. Okay. No, no, I have a video. Alright, well, let's go. Are you my... Why are you following me, Hadvar? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Yeah, hey, I need to talk to you real quick. What is it that you need? Uh, I need to trap a dragon in here. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. You know, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? Look. It's worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Maybe so, but I'm not gonna go down without fighting. What about you? Spoken like a true Nord. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? Look, it's the only way I can find Alduin. That's all. That's all that matters. Then, White Run will stand with you, Dragonborn. We will take the risk and gain the glory, whether it be in victory or defeat. So what's the plan then? How do you intend to lure a dragon into the trap? Uh, I don't know, but I know. The how to how I can get help. Oh. Well, I'll leave that to you. I trust you know your business. Probably for the best. It will give me time to see if that old trap still works. And break the news to the men. Alright. Now well, if let's you don't go mind, get uh we'll get a call to help us here. We might as well because in the end we're gonna have to call someone. To make this easier. Maggot. Why are you... Hadvar, what's... Hello, friend. Yeah, hello. Why are you following me? I swear to God, you come to the peak of this mountain with me? I'm gonna be shocked. Like, I'm over here like, Yo, is Hadvar gonna be my permanent companion? Because... If so, I want to know why I can't have a conversation with him then, but still. Alright, let's do this. Alright, Parthen Axe, buddy old pal, I have a question for you, my old dragon friend. 
Drem your look. Greetings. Uh, I need to lure a dragon. You got any, uh, anything to help? Hmm. Yes. I have been pondering on exactly that question. Lingra Mora. I have tasted the voices of Alduin's allies on the wind. Pogon Nachlas Vokril Vachjun. There is one who I remember well. Odavin. He is the one to tell us where Alduin has gone. Alright. So we know his name. How does that help me? Ah, I forget how little you know of the Dove. Our names are always made up of three Rothmulag, words of power. You see, Parthurnax, a thum, a shout, yes? Okay, why would he come to it, though? He is not compelled to come, but the Dove are prideful by nature. Few could resist such a challenge, especially from you, Dovakin. But Odavin, he is... Headstrong, Bozik, rash. Even among the Dove, he was known for this. He will not resist the challenge of your voice, Dovakin. He will come. Now, hear his name, Odavin. Taste it on the wind, Odavin. Know it in your soon, O Darwin. O Darwin, got it. Thank you, Parthenax. It means a lot that, you know, I don't actually have to, like, find a way of doing this, too. So let's, uh, so I want Call Dragon. Alright, and then we'll go ahead, we'll travel to, uh, Dragon's Reach. So we're just gonna have to get him in our trap and then uh hopefully interrogate the dragon, why not? God, my body's so tired, I don't know why. I'm just over here like yawning left and right. I'm like, man, I doubt it's my chair. My chair's comfy, but I doubt it's making me wanna go to sleep yet. Uh, <laughs> I think a lot of it has to do is just getting up so early and then uh also getting, getting ready for the day. Not gonna lie, I think that's the big thing. My brain's like, no, nah, I don't want to do, do much today other than, rec than play video games. Not gonna lie. I like to relax. It's just kind of how I am. Alright, just gotta load on in. Ever get the impression Rika is not always sure what side she's on? I'm not doubting her loyalty, just she seems rather sympathetic to the rebels. Well, I wanna know why you're still following me, Hadvar. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Are you ready to trap a dragon? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. All right, I'm ready. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Heard that. All right, well, let's call it, call Od Odavin. Odavin. This is gonna be interesting. Not gonna lie. At least it's gonna be interesting for me. I don't know how uh, interesting it'll be for you guys. Not gonna lie. All right. Go ahead, and we'll call Odovin real quick. Odovin! Okay, so I called Odovin. Might as well get Dragon Ren ready. Oh, hey, there he is. Oh, that's a lovely chair. Oh, God. 
Bye, buddy. Oh, he, he kept the sword and shield here. I love that. Okay, come on, Odomin. Yeah, you're gonna get over here. I don't. I don't care. You're not. You're not staying in the air. I'll knock you down. Oh, he doesn't do that much damage. That is a strong voice, though. Ah! Sucks to suck. Alright, let's have a little chat, buddy. I think it's holding. Of Ubonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Uh... That's correct! So you want to tell me where he's hiding? Renik Vaza. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course. Muni Mae. None were yet ready to openly defy him. Alright, so... You were telling me where to find Alwyn. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Do you promise to serve me? Um? Serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Okay, what do you know? Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Okay, um... Do you expect me to take your word? Aran, you wound me, Dovakin. I may not tell the whole truth, but I am no liar. Go and see for yourself. Zu ni bo nor het. I will be here, unless Alduin returns before you do. Shit. He's really making it clear that I don't have much choice. Alright guys, well we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna end it here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, check out all the links in the description below. It really helps out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Uh...